Welcome, in this video we'll be looking at gravitational potential energy, the use of this equation, EGP equals MGH, and some examples of how to apply it. So EGP again, capital E represents energy, subscript GP means gravitational potential, measured in joules of course because it's energy, mass is measured in kilograms, and G for gravity, the gravitational force, um, the gravitational field strength to be correct, is measured in newtons per kilogram, and H, the height, is measured in meters. So let's have a look at three examples. Example number one. A person raises a 40 kilogram mass, a height of five meters above the ground, as shown in this diagram to the right. Calculate the mass's gravitational potential energy. So of course, let's identify and state the variables. You can see there's a mass, M, of 40 kilograms, a height, five meters against the reference of the floor, kilograms is the correct unit, meters is the correct unit, and G, any example on planet Earth, uses a gravitational field strength of 10 newtons per kilogram. And of course we're after the gravitational potential energy. That's our question. There's all our variables, three known and one unknown. The equation we have available is EGP, gravitational potential energy, is equal to MGH. Let's simply sub our numbers in. So first of all, M, 40 kilograms. G, 10 newtons per kilogram. H is 5 meters. Put them all in simply 40 times 10 is 400 times 5 is 2,000. So a person raising a 40 kilogram mass 5 meters above the ground would end up having a gravitational potential energy of 2,000 joules. Assuming of course that this is on Earth or the gravitational field strength is 10 newtons per kilogram. Example number two. A person raises a 40 kilogram mass of height h above the ground as shown in the diagram. This time we don't know what the height is. It's a new scenario. We want to calculate the height that would give the mass a gravitational potential energy of 1800 joules. So again, let's state the variables. The mass again is 40 kilograms. The gravitational field strength on Earth is 10 newtons per kilogram. The total gravitational potential energy of the system is 1800 joules. And in this case, we're trying to work out what is the height that would give a 40 kilogram mass 1800 joules of energy. The equation. EGP, the gravitational potential energy, is equal to MGH. Let's sub our values in. We know 1800 is the gravitational potential energy. We know the mass of 40. We know the gravitational field strength on Earth is 10, and H is the unknown. We can easily work out H. H is just a case of 1800 divided by 40 by 10. We move that across as the denominator on this fraction expression for division. Okay, so to get H by itself at the moment on the right hand side, it's times by 10 and it's times by 40. We need to get rid of these two multiplications, dividing them over to the other side. So it gives me a height of 4.5 meters. So our original question, when a person raises a 40 kilogram mass, some height above the ground, in order to get 1800 joules of gravitational potential energy, that height must have been 4.5 meters. Finally, example three. A person raises a mass M, a height of five meters above the ground, as shown in this diagram. We want to calculate what is the mass of this object if the gravitational potential energy gained is 2,500 joules. Let's write down the variables. So first of all, we have a height of 5 meters. We have a gravitational field strength of 10 newtons per kilogram, because this is happening on planet Earth. And we have total gravitational potential energy of 2,500 joules when this object is raised 5 meters above the ground. And we want to, of course, work out what mass would generate that 2,500 joules of gravitational potential energy. So let's have a look. Let's select the correct equation. EGP, gravitational potential energy, is equal to MGH. Let's sub in our values. The gravitational potential energy was 2,500 joules. Let's just highlight that. The mass we don't know. The gravitational field strength was 10 newtons per kilogram and the height was 5 meters just so you can see where this information is coming from okay now finally to get m by itself at the moment it's times 10 and times 5 let's reverse engineer that and divide on the left hand side by 10 and 5 so the mass is 2500 divided by the product of 10 times 5 and that gives a nice round mass of 50 kilograms so to summarize this question what mass is required 
for an object when it's elevated 5 meters above the ground to gain a gravitational potential energy of 2,500 joules. That mass is 50 kilograms. I hope these three examples have enabled you to understand better the gravitational potential energy equation of equal to mgh and how we can use it to solve an unknown quantity. Practice these skills and enjoy your physics. And thanks for watching.